here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to be here with you today to first give you an update on my stroke experience and then get into the continuing benefits of the carnivore diet and it is really changing my life in a very good way, I have to admit. But first, before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and the shoes that I'm wearing today. I especially love the shoes. They're from Dream Pairs. They are little ankle booties, and I think they are so darling, and I love that cognac color. It is so wonderful for fall. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing. It's totally free. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And please give this video a thumbs up up that would help it in the YouTube algorithm and that would help me reach more people which I would really appreciate. Okay let's get into this. Step number one, how am I doing after my stroke? And my stroke happened not that long ago at all. It was on Tuesday August 15th when I woke up and realized when I was working out that I was having a stroke got to the hospital very quickly and was able to get a clot buster drug. And within just a few hours, it totally turned my stroke symptoms around. And I do have a very great viral video that has about 200,000 views now on how to recognize if you or someone you love or even someone you don't love is having a stroke because that enables you to get them to the hospital quickly and make sure that they get the care that they need and that they're able to get that clot buster drug if they're eligible for it. Well, how am I doing since my stroke? Well, first, I do have a video on my channel about my decision on my diet going forward. And at first, as would be totally normal, I think, in the hospital, I thought, oh, I should go on a low-fat diet. It's probably the effects of my very high-fat carnivore diet. And I was kind of surprised that out of the four cardiologist-type people that were my doctors in the hospital, three of them said, your diet had nothing to do with it. And that was surprising to me. And then when I got out of the hospital, bound and determined to go on a low-fat diet, I started doing some research and I did a fantastic video, I have to admit. That is on the effects of the carnivore diet on your LDL cholesterol. And my numbers are absolutely fabulous, I realized. My LDL is a little bit high, but in the video that I did about this, I interviewed a renowned cardiologist and he explains why high LDL cholesterol is actually a very good thing, especially since all of my other three cholesterol markers are very low. And I am totally on the carnivore diet. And in fact, my husband, Alan, is now doing the carnivore diet with me. He doesn't have any weight to lose, but he is really enjoying it. And I have to admit, it is now much easier for me, for our entire little household of two, that he is now on the carnivore diet because grocery shopping is a breeze, cooking is a breeze, and he is totally on the same page I am, which is just wonderful. Okay, now let me get into the benefits I have experienced so far on the carnivore diet. And if you followed my channel, you know I've been carnivore for about the past year, except for in March, I had a hip replacement and unfortunately got COVID in the hospital and I developed a huge distaste for meat. So I had about a six week to eight week period where I was very on and off with the carnivore. I knew I wanted to get back onto it, but at that point, COVID had changed my taste buds to where the meat just did not taste good. But from that point on, I've been steadily on the carnivore diet and the benefits that I have experienced on carnivore just continue to improve and actually get better. The first benefit I have experienced on the carnivore diet is a beauty benefit and it is in several different areas. And basically within the first 30 days of starting the carnivore diet, I did a video showing you my beauty results. And the first thing was a great decrease in my inflamed face. In that video, I show a before and after picture of me just a few weeks before I started the carnivore and me 30 days after the carnivore. And my face is just totally puffy. I look very overweight, even though I'm really not. So the first beauty benefit is a decrease in inflammation. And I will tell you, I just realized when I sat down here today to do this video, that I was not wearing any contour, which I normally wear contour and I'm not against it. I still wear it, but I started to put it on and then I looked at my face and I thought, you know, I don't look puffy. It's not like I really need the contour to make my face look slender and sculpted. So I really appreciate the anti-inflammatory effects of the carnivore diet. And a second beauty benefit is that my eyelashes and eyebrows continue to grow like weeds. Now, even a month ago, I still had to color in a little bit on my tails 
because as we get older, we get thyroid issues that cause our tails to sort of become nothing, which mine were. And now they are all grown out. I have a little bit of brow pencil on here, but it's really not to elongate the tails. I have fur clear out to the sides, which really makes me happy. And a fourth beauty benefit is something that I experience when I walk around lately, and that is people continually stop me and they say, my, your skin is very pretty. It's so radiant. It's so luminous. And I've really never had radiant, luminous skin before. And I have noticed that though in the other women that are doing carnivore that have YouTube channels, they just get more and more glowy as their carnivore experience goes on. And I really think that glowing luminous skin is a true beauty benefit of the carnivore diet. Now, a second benefit I'm experiencing on the carnivore diet is just that I'm really happy. And for those of you who followed my channel, you know that for many, many years, all the years that I've been on this channel, which is seven years now, I have talked about my low level of depression and I've had it and I fought it. I can remember when I was 13 years old writing poems about death. I mean, I wasn't a very happy camper back in my teenage years and I sort of got a handle on it through my adult life. I mean, I, I dealt with it, but I always had this feeling, oh, is that all there is? The glass seemed kind of half empty. And even earlier on in my carnivore experience, in a couple of videos, I said, you know, I'm waiting for this depression removal benefit and I'm not seeing it yet. Well, I have to say I am absolutely seeing it now. In fact, I get up in the morning and this is a little tip for you because I started doing this and I think it probably helps too, but I get out of bed in the morning and one of the first things I do, and I'm a terrible singer, but one of the first things I do is I walk into the bathroom to get ready singing, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way today. Oh, what a beautiful day. And I have a terrible voice, but it is amazing to me that I want to sing that song in the mornings because I am feeling so good. The depression relief I have experienced as a result of the carnivore diet has been absolutely wonderful. And when I ask other YouTubers on the carnivore diet, when am I going to get this depression relief that carnivore promises because I'm sure not getting it? And they said, just wait. They said, sometimes the depression relief is one of the benefits that takes the longest to achieve. And I have to say, I am really feeling that now and it is truly wonderful. Now, a third benefit that I have achieved as a result of the carnivore diet is a total relief from food cravings. Now, early in my channel, I did a video called The Hunger Monster. Here's a look at the thumbnail from that video, and you can go back and watch it if you want to. And in that video, I explained that in this rather thin body is basically a 300 pounder waiting to break out. And that is because all of my life, I have suffered from intense food cravings, I would eat one meal and already be thinking about what I was going to get to eat at the next meal. I would almost dream about food. When I was a teenager, I used to say, why would anyone kill themselves when you can eat? And now I realize that's a pretty unhealthy way of thinking that you know you can just live to eat because it's so much fun to eat. But that was exactly what I used to experience, really kind of a food addiction I now know looking back. And being on the carnivore diet, since I'm not having carbohydrates, breads, cakes, pies, cookies, etc., I now think that my formerly high carbohydrate way of eating was really behind my food disordered thinking that I had and my intense cravings for food. Because now that I'm on the carnivore diet, I'm hungry, I eat, and I basically forget about eating. Sometimes I even forget about eating the next meal. That's how little food cravings now affect me, which is just wonderful. Now, one of the biggest benefits I have experienced on the carnivore diet is something I have saved for last. And I couldn't figure out initially how to tell you what this is because I really had to do some analysis to figure out exactly what it was. But oddly, I think my brain is working better. I know that sounds weird, but I am able to accomplish things, to be more organized, to get a lot more done than I ever could do before I was on the carnivore diet. And when your brain is functioning better, I'll give you some of the examples of how my life has changed because it's pretty amazing. Number one, I wish you could see my makeup room here 
because it used to be a huge mess, like a huge mess, and now everything is in its place. When I use something, I put it right back. If you could see the rest of my house, it is markedly cleaner than it ever was before the carnivore eating plan. And I'm not saying that the carnivore diet has anything to do with increasing your house cleaning abilities, but for me, what it does do is it helps my mind get organized and think better so that I can think, oh, when I'm walking through that room, I need to pick up this and this. Or when I get water in a sink, I need to take a moment and wipe that out. And this is all resulting in my surroundings being much more neat and tidy. And even my YouTube performance is improving, I believe, because I'm able to get more organized. I'm able to be creative and really think, oh, that would make a great video. And then I go to do the second step, which is to write that down and prepare for that video. Really everything in my life just seems to be going more smoothly. And I totally credit the carnivore diet with these great benefits. And please share in the comment section, if you would, if you're on the carnivore diet, some of the benefits and maybe even some of the challenges you are still experiencing because everyone here would love to hear that and sharing your experience is a great way to help everyone here, which is just wonderful. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and my thought for the day comes from a great viewer. And I do have to say, if you have something that would make a great thought for the day, it doesn't have to be anything profound. It can be something as simple as cleaning your house better, how to keep your house nice. But one lovely viewer and her name is Linda K. Oliva, Linda K. Oliva, thank you so much for a comment that you shared on one of my recent videos because it has helped me so much. And I love that I get to share it with all the viewers out there. And it is a very simple idea that Linda shared and that is to try to only touch a thing one time. And what that means is like I get a lot of Amazon packages in and so they come in, I, you know, I put them in the front hallway to begin with, and then I put them on the kitchen island, and then I let them sit there for a while, and then I open them, and then I think, oh, I better take out the wrapping to the trash. Half the time, I'll leave that. And she specifically mentioned Amazon packages, and she says, I get it off the front porch, I bring it in, I open it, I deal with the contents, and then I throw the packaging away. She says, I touched that item just one time and it really simplifies my life and makes my house look cleaner. And another good example is after you've finished your meal and you have some dirty dishes, don't just put them in the sink. Go ahead and rinse them off and put them in the dishwasher. And I would add dry your sink. You just want to touch those dirty dishes once instead of just leaving them in your sink or on your countertop because that just kind of makes you miserable every time you walk through and see them and think, oh, I really should put those in the dishwasher. No more of that messy house guilt. When, if you see something that you need to do, you do it, you only touch it once and it's done. Well, friends, again, if you have something you think might be a good thought for the day, I hope you'll share the information in the comment section below the video. I read every comment and I look forward to seeing you next time.